Let's stay on politics now, but on another personality. He was disqualified by the NDC's Verton Committee to contest the National Youth Organizer position in the upcoming National Delegates Congress, uh, Congress of the party. Now, he fought back, petitioned the National Congress Appeal Committee of the party, and the decision was reversed. Wanda Madilo is my guest today. Good morning, sir. Thanks for coming. Yes, sir, and a very good morning. Good um, morning. To your viewers, your listeners out there. Mm. Um, am, I, am I right to, to say you are a fighter? Yes, I've always been a fighter. I mean, I've always been a fighter. I remember many years, you know, before now, um, 2009, I contested for Nuke's presidency. And, and there were all kinds of stories out there, machinations out there, mm. and I was disqualified. But I fought it, and then we got back and won the election. Oh, so what is it so, with you and disqualification? I don't know. If this is my fate, I take it in good stride. <laughs> uh, I would fight back, and I, I believe in fighting for mm. a cause. And, and, and what is it, you know, if you want to be a youth organizer? And you can't fight for yourself. What's the guarantee you'll fight for others? So I believe that this is one of the trump cards in fighting for the youth of my party. Mm. And you think it works out for your good eventually? Yeah, of course. Uh, even though we lost over 13 days battling this back and forth and uh, the party won't extend the date for any reason, I, I have some 17 days to go and I know what we're going to do. I just arrived from uh, the northern region and uh, it's been good so far. Mm. God with us. Mm. Uh, your party is um, in a very interesting place with regards to your internal politics you have a former president who is seeking um re-election as flag bearer uh, he had one term already and uh, well there are a lot of reactions to that a lot of uh, people who believe that it will not go well for the party but uh, let's move away from him and talk about the party generally because uh, you lost that the 2016 elections and it was quite a big blow for you uh, there was a committee set up to try and identify what led to uh, the party's defeat. Well, in, 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 in your own assessment, as you go around speaking to people who would in turn vote for you, uh, hopefully that's your wish to be uh, the youth organizer, what are you picking? What really led to the defeat of the NDC? Well, I, I, I should say that before now, when the committee was put together, I am one of the few people who actually made a, a presentation to the committee. Okay. I wrote a 25, 29 or so page report on uh, what I think was the reason why we lost the elections. And uh, I think it was very insightful. Uh, as I go on the ground as well, I hear the same thing over and over. Can you I, share I with that, us what I believe it, that what the, biggest, the biggest challenge we had in 2016 uh, was the fact that we had the men, but the deployment was poor. Um, we had people who could do the job. And somehow, some way, they were not uh, given the frontal role to, to play you know, in, within the space of uh, the elections. The other thing has to do with the history. Uh, we are all aware that in Ghana since 92, it has always been eight years, eight years, eight years. And I think that Ghanaians somehow settled for that eight years. Let, let, uh, me, let me cut stuff. in there. So looking at that history, you're saying yeah. eight years, eight years, going by that history alone, um, then we can say that it is highly probable that Ghanaians will give the NPP the nod again. Well, you say probable, so mm -hmm. when we get there, we call that. But, but I, I need to indicate mm -hmm. that history always changes. I mean, uh, it cannot be that it's casting. I, I appreciate it's that, but my point there was to find out from you then, uh, there definitely is a lot of work ahead yeah. uh, if you are elected as uh, a national youth organizer. What do you think you bring on board that could create or change the fortunes so you can change that history you just made well, reference one to? Well, one of the very key things I'm going to bring to bear uh, on the NDC Youth Front is that we're fighting for what I call autonomy. As we speak, the youth wing of my party operates directly under the national organizer. And I think that that does not enhance operational efficiency. It does not enhance op operational effectiveness. And, and one of the things we think we want to do going forward is to fight for autonomy. Autonomy that allows us to run our programs independent, excuse me, of a certain individual called the national organizer and then report directly to NEC or to FED. And I think that that would enhance our participation. It will enhance bringing on board all the 275 youth organizers times three and then the branch youth organizers. And I've also been advocating that if we have to go by 
what the youth want. One of the things to do is to allow our youth organizers in the various constituencies to lead the campaigns. Mm. Um, we've had situations in the past where you have somebody who is leading the campaign of a uh, parliamentary candidate mm. and then the results are not too good. I know for a fact that my youth organizers know the constituencies better. I know for a fact that they relate better. They have a better following. They understand the dynamics. And so if you give them the role to become your coordinator of a campaign in the region, in the constituency, they deliver better. And, and the results are always uh, obvious. Number two, we are saying that we want to go after every lost seat in the last elections. There are certain seats we lost only 500 votes, some below 100, some 1,000, some 2,000. I believe that there's always going to be a way to get back. And, and I won't share that on, on live TV. But we have already put in place a mechanism to bring back the seat to us. I know for a fact that any candidate of the NDC that contest Nanado in the 2020 elections will beat him flat. But they won't beat him flat with the kind of, um, you know, the number of mm. seats we have in parliament. And so we need to increase that as well. Do you agree with those who believe strongly that the NDC's defeat was as a result of a current executive body that is not working hard enough. We just heard Mr. Kospio Gabra say that it will be very difficult for uh, Mr. Isidun Ketia, who's your current general secretary, to win again. Well, let me not double it much as uh, a bit too high for me. But um, I, I must confess, like I told you, that we have always had the men. We have the track record. We have run elections mm. since 92, 96, 2000, 2004, 2008, 2012. Mm. And, and we know the men who understands the grounds and know for what it is. And, and I've worked very closely with uh, campaign mm. coordinators in the past. And, and, and I know that we have the men. Mm. It's the deployment. We have not been able to successfully put people where they belong. Finally, you come up against a Broja Jemfi and Opariado, is yeah. it? And, and, and Broja Jemfi, for example, has been very visible. I mean, working around, doing things, mm -hmm. going to court and all. I want you to look into that camera. You're coming up, up against these men. What would you like to tell your delegates? I'm not, I'm not scared with any of them. They, they know very well that um, doing the job of a youth organizer is basically a job of organization. It's not about shouting on radio and talking and running all over the place in the name of going to court and all that. In any case, who says that Wanda Madilo does not have the capacity to go to court and do any of those. But I believe that one of the things we have lost in the past is the capacity of the youth organizer to do what is called the grassroots mobilization and turn out the votes. We have been shouting on radio every now and then since 2012. What did it bring us in 2016? So the job is to sit down, sit your ass down, go to the grounds and work and make sure the results are turned out. Thank you very much, Wanda Madilo. We wish you all the Thank best. You